age when so many large and small Australian manufacturers are choosing to outsource work to Asia and China in a bid to remain price competitive in the marketplace, it's incredibly refreshing to find a sheet metal company that refuses to be drawn into that kind of thinking. In 2014, Salmon Sheet Metal celebrates its 40th year as a leading manufacturer of high quality metal components and is totally committed to maintaining and improving its service to Australian businesses right here in Queensland and around the country. I'm chatting with Managing Director Wade Salmon, the second generation leader of the business that's taken Salmon from its humble beginnings back in 1974, started by his parents, Mervyn Joan, to what it is today. Wade. Congratulations, first of all. That's a huge milestone. 40 years. Your Thanks. dad and mum started the business back in 74. That's right, Mark, yes. Tell us a little bit about those early days way back then. Well, it's uh, obviously 40 years ago is a, is a long time, for I guess, for any, any manufacturing business. But back in those days, we, we were a, what you would call a simple sheet metal shop, I guess. Uh, we manufactured a, a lot of... Um, uh, like rainwater goods, um, uh, ridge capping and things like that for the building industry, for plumbers and, and so forth. So we would uh, basically just cut and fold a lot of sheet metal parts and things like that. Taking it from there to where we are today, um, we are basically gone into the computerisation of, a, of um, the era. Yes going into a lot of high precision sheet metal components so everything's done with our laser cutters, our turret punches, CNC folders, um, everything's drawn up on CAD, modelled in 3D before we actually even make the part. Yeah. So we know that when the part comes off the production line at the end of the day, it's going to fit together and yeah. it's going to be what the customer wants. The, the skill level is moving from from the operator on the actual floor to yeah. the actual operators behind the computers designing the product, programming the machines, uh, programming the runs that have got to happen through the night and everything like that. So yeah. As you would have seen down on the workshop floor there, we're, we're making small mm. components yeah. and we're making quite large ones that are fabricated out of heavy steel and, and tube and RHS and things like that. So we, we, we sort of, we're a very diversified shop. Um, we've, we've got the knowledge and the ability uh, and the training with our operators that we can understand that, you know, when we're doing a small part, we can chase those tight tolerances that the customer's doing. And when we're doing large parts, the tolerances aren't so tight. Yes. And uh, so we, we've got the ability to sort of very flexible. We can yeah. we can change in, in that respect. And um, as far as quantity wise, we can handle one off parts, or we can do a production run. We can do yeah. five hundred. We can do a thousand. We can do ten thousand parts. Yeah. Whatever our customers' requirements are. Yeah. yeah we can uh, anodize the product. We can powder coat it. We can uh, screen print it. So we'll take the component or the product for the customer as far as they would like us to take it. So right. if they want it in the uh, raw stage, then we can manufacture it and supply it to them in, at that point. Or if they want it right through to the uh, powder coat, screen printed stage, then we can do that as well. We listen to our customers. We want to understand what the product does at the end of the day for us to be able to manufacture it and help our customers we're the experts in sheet metal. Our, our customers may not have that experience. So if we get a better understanding of the end use of the actual component that we're actually manufacturing, nine times out of ten we can, we can design, come up with a better design, a more cost-effective design to manufacture mm. and actually give the customer something that, that he actually wants at the end of the day. A, you know, a, a part of their manufacturing process. Yeah. The way that we can help do that is to run our factory unmanned through a 24-hour manufacturing process. And, and when we look at updating our equipment, which we do do on a regular basis, we always look for levels of automation. How can we do it better, more efficiently, to save our customers in cost. 
yeah. because the labour content of, of any manufacturing process is an expensive part. Yes. If we can have machinery that runs unmanned into the night yeah. producing parts, then that's saving our customers money. Yeah. And, and at the same time, it's allowing us to increase our productivity yes. out the door. Congratulations again. Thanks, Mark. I know it's going to be an awesome year, and hopefully there's many, many more years to come. I'm sure there will be. <laughs>